Hi. Hi. So another um, sort of double feature of you, obviously we're going to divide up the videos into two each, but yeah. We saw Captain Underpants! Yeah. Tra la la. <laughs> Tra la 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 la. So, to basically uh, sum it up, uh, before we start rambling on about it... If you it, took the book and shoved it onto a screen and said, here you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, they didn't exactly copy any one book word for word, but they uh, took elements from most of the books and mashed it together in a way that it could have been one of the books. Yeah. In much the same way the Deadpool movie, you know? I can't remember the... <laughs> this sounds horrible, but I keep calling them Harold and Kumar. <laughs> Because I think well, I think one of them was called Her Harold, and I can't remember the other kid's name. I keep calling him Kumar, but I'm like, wait, wrong franchise. George. Oh yeah, George. Harold and, no, but like, like now I'm thinking like, like, uh, Harold and George break out of Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> hey, you, you never know. They couldn't do that. There, this movie has so much. What was it like? Social commentary. Yeah. It's like almost every other lie is a joke. About. I think every movie has social commentary now, though, doesn't it? Like, especially kids' movies, they all do. It's because it's what our society needs now, but yeah. Uh, it's been so long, I've tried, I'm like scraping yeah. at it to try and remember. It's been a few weeks. <laughs> We've been busy, or at least I have. <laughs> um... I really like the animation. Yeah. It, re it really went to, like, they went overboard to just on random things they were talking about just to... Sh yeah, oh yeah, they, 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 uh, there are a few, uh, like, especially when, uh, you know, the anecdote scenes, they, they, they threw in different styles of animation, mm -hmm. like some stop motion, some, you know, classic 2D animation, and, you know, like, one where they're all yarn. <laughs> Yeah. Harold and George would start going on a rant, and then it would just random things that they said would start showing up in yeah. different parts of the screen. Like they were, they were talking about being separated, going to different classes, and like suddenly they were in a in a mall, going upstairs, looking at each other, and then suddenly there were robots. It's like, why are there robots? I don't know because this is the future. Suddenly we have robots, <laughs> and also dolphins. Oh yeah, dolphins because <laughs> George loves dolphins. Yeah, that became a running gag. Um... So, but yeah, they they kept the uh, the origin of uh, like uh, proper with uh, Captain Underpants that that he was uh, you know their their mean ass principal who they they inadvertently uh, hypnotized with a with a hypno ring they got in a Cracker Jack box. I thought it was a cereal box. But... It's same thing. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> and they just randomly ripped the off. The Schwartz his... is in you know and stuff. And they just ripped off his clothes and ripped off his hair. Yeah, and his toupee. <laughs> runs around thinking he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah. And thinking the comic, because the, throughout the whole story, they write yeah, comic documenting books. documenting my, my heroic adventures. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then they turned one of the comic books in, like, they wrote in the movie for the plot for the rest of the movie. They, they wrote a comic about... Oh, yeah, the, yeah. Like, like Professor Poopy Pants yes. is in it. You know, the, the guy, th I think he was in the fourth or the fifth. Fourth book, yeah. but he like he shows up to teach at the school, and they they drew a comic about him. He's like, okay, I'm gonna turn this into my my story, and I'm gonna start doing what they drew <laughs> with yeah. the giant toilet. Be because mad scientist, <laughs> you know. He like, he walked around with love. He's like, I'm not a mad scientist. I just I just have these bunch of weapons. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. don't you anything about science? <laughs> And he's so embarrassed about his name that his goal is to completely walk out of frame. <laughs> oh, right, but of course. But of course. That is so dusty. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Superconductive electromagnetism. I really need to take a wet cloth to these, but whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it, 
He wants to <laughs> eliminate laughter from the world. With science! With a specific part, t t taking away a specific part of the brain, which he came also up with. Also giant toilet mech, because... Also, because Power Rangers were popular. So they're like, let's do, I don't know. Not even Power Rangers would have done that. <laughs> no, but they're like, let's do a giant mech that's a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> That for some reason the the, uh, the poisonous uh, green water in the toilet is what gives I, it uh, activates his superpowers. Yeah, that what Captain apparently gets gets superpowers from it because you know. <laughs> well, it activates superpowers that they given him in their books. Yeah, I know, but you know. Because Larry, he starts flying around. George's like, I'm glad I gave you that superpower. <laughs> <laughs> but he he flies out of the toilet because he obviously couldn't fight a giant toilet. He he's. He's a fat guy, and then he flies out of the toilet, and suddenly he's ripped for like two seconds. <laughs> and like, so, oh yeah, the 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 uh, the way that that uh, Poopy Pants tr wants to, tr the method he tries to use to basically lobotomize every uh, kid in the world to uh, take their their guffaw or uh, whatever they called it, part of the brain. Who really cares what it was? Oh, <laughs> well, it was a silly anyway. word. Yes, it but is yeah, nice. um. The only flaw that me and most people have with the movie is that there's this nerdy kid who is portrayed as a villain, whereas really he's just a nerdy kid. <laughs> but he had no sense of humor at all. Yeah, but again, that doesn't necessarily have to make someone a bad guy. They d he didn't even look like a bad guy. He was just, at worst, a bit annoying. Like, just, like In Harold and George's opinion, he's a bad guy because he, he's not fun. Yeah, but again, it's it's a little iffy because, you know, it was a common trope, especially in the 90s, that uh, the nerdy kid was always the loser and always got beaten up. It was the victim, but was never the hero. Well, this is based on a book from that, that time period. Uh, but yeah, again, that's that's one minor nitpick yeah. in, a, in a movie full of awesome. Yeah, yeah. And at one point, Professor Poopy Pants had a gun to shrink and enlarge things. Yeah, smallify and yeah. largeify. And he shrinks something, and then he makes a joke referencing that teachers get are underpaid. I think he shrunk something like either the teachers or something like that, and he makes a joke say, talking about how teachers are underpaid. Mm. I'm like, okay, okay. And also he has a lot of lip balm. Mm. <laughs> Lip balm? Yeah, remember the lip, the lip balm scene? Oh, oh yeah. I have this flavor lip balm and this flavor lip balm. I, I will smallify you and stick you in my pocket with my sun, this flavor lip balm and that flavor lip balm. And then he uh, largifies all his lip balms and, and uses them to make a cage. Yeah. And then George, in one scene, enlarges his hand. And I'm like, okay, there's a reference in there. Their masturbation reference in there, <laughs> uh, which they didn't—they didn't, they didn't do—but they uh, they hinted at it. I'm thinking more Ant Man, but you know, <laughs> you know, giant hand. Okay. No, no, I mean the rest of it. The the smallify machine. Okay. Yeah. The smallify ray. And I'm trying, <laughs> like the mm, I'm trying to think of other things to talk about. I mean, Oh yeah, the uh, there was apparently uh, I don't know I don't remember if this was in the books I didn't don't remember reading it in any of the books but we're still wearing the stupid goggles. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, back on topic. Um, you didn't have to acknowledge though. <laughs> Science. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, the uh, principal guy like uh, in his like not you know thinking he's Captain Underpants persona. Mm. Uh, throughout the movie, he starts to get this love interest with uh, one of the uh, cafeteria ladies. Again, I don't remember reading that in the books, but I only read up to book five, but so maybe it happened later. I know there was a book about an evil cafeteria lady. I just yeah, no, know. but it wasn't... This cafeteria lady wasn't like that. Those cafeteria maybe. ladies were, were like, uh, old and obese, mm. but th this one was actually... She was young and terrible at cooking. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I mean, the, the evil ones were too, but deliberately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's hinting at that, maybe that, maybe she'll be back for a later movie and mm. she'll turn into one of them, I don't know. Mm, who knows? Because they also hinted at all, at the turbo toilets at the end. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the, <laughs> the, 
the 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 the, the, the giant to uh, toilet mech, the goo out of it, like they just threw it in a dumpster, which also had a bunch of toilets in it, and then uh, uh, because nothing but good can happen from this, <laughs> especially since we already saw that it gives people superpowers. Yeah, it it <laughs> turned the toilets into giant people eating monsters. Yeah. Good old turbo and, toilets. Yeah, but I was actually surprised at how you know far they went with that. The toilets actually ate people. Yeah. I mean, in, in this a movie with with you know they actually eat people. I'm like, and they outright said that. I'm like, wow, that's yeah. that's pushing the uh, for a G rating there. But okay. Yeah. And I think the first half of the movie was basically just all about Harold and George. As friends, I'm trying yeah, to, I'm trying oh, to yeah, remember. Oh, yeah, that, and then they had to, you know, try to, you know, keep... Because, you know, the evil principle of evil uh, <laughs> wants to, um, you know, uh, set, put them in different classes to end their friendship forever. Right. But, again, something I don't think I can necessarily relate to because I was like, well, what friends? I never had friends <laughs> in school, like, ever. So that wouldn't have... So, yeah, as we were... Um, Saying, uh, uh, enough about my uh, pathetic uh, childhood of loneliness and, and disappointment and, uh, st and things that I never ever want to remember. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of friends, but I did have a few that like, they're just... I mean, I met, I met him when we were both teenagers, so uh -huh. we were already o older than Harold and George in that movie when, yeah. so, yeah. I, I, uh... Anyway, back to the movie. I mean, I went, to, I went to a high school where basically everyone either was no, known, knew each other or related to each other somehow. Like, oh, <laughs> out in the country kind of high school. But before right. that, I had, I had, I went to multiple schools. Yeah, every school I was ever in, everyone was against me just because I was weird. But anyway, again, back to movie. Yeah. <laughs> Not pathetic lives of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying um, to think of what else is there. We've gone through the whole movie. I, uh, and people do tend to complain that these videos are t too long. So let's make them even longer just for you! <laughs> <laughs> like just an hour of, of <laughs> us just like sitting here going, um, uh, like, um, uh, 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 go uh, because we uh, 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 can't uh, uh, yes, think of yeah. um, any Ooh, uh, uh, yes. more, uh, oh. stuff to um, uh, know. say. And, uh, you know, because, uh, <laughs> try it! <laughs> but, yeah, it was. It's it's a it's a fun movie that you mm, might want to take a look at too. But there's a lot of yeah, older that's, humor. That, that, that's another thing that I that, to mention. It's a type of humor that hasn't been around for a while. I noticed. <laughs> you know the the farts and 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 toilets and 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 yeah. funny names kind of humor that it, it, it seemed almost seemed to have died with the '90s. But maybe this will. Give it at least a little bit of a comeback. I don't know. Oh, I remember that they 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 saved the day because their the the humor part of their brain was so big that he couldn't shrink it completely. And then they oh, yeah, they, and they then, remembered then, then, the first joke that made them laugh was about Uranus. Yeah, because you know, uh, sticking around, real mature Bradley. Yeah. <laughs> so then. They they so, remember. So then yeah yeah poopy pants is talking about like all the planets he's gonna take over someday and when he finally gets to Uranus you know what happens they, then they they start laughing and they overwhelm the machine yeah. and and what does the little kid decides to save himself and yeah if I just you know bail yeah he's like I have no sense you I'm just gonna get out of here <laughs> no that was just a running thing in the movie he's like I don't know what's going on what 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 is funny. He's, he's trying to be a good student, and he just doesn't understand. Yeah, that's why I, I don't... I, I kind of felt bad that, that they vilified him, because yeah. there's no reason for him to be vilified. Maybe made as, like, like the little annoyance, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of like the Sheldon Cooper of the series or whatever. But, but even but Sheldon Cooper's had more character development bazinga. than this guy. <laughs> bazinga. Yeah, but... but there, there's also part of the movie where they just go through town, because... Captain Underpants doesn't understand his powers, and he's like, he's in an elevator with butt naked with just underwear. And he beats up a mine. <laughs> <laughs> you are trapped in an invisible box. <laughs> I, I should have done this side, but whatever. He was an Iron Man. 
I will save you! Uh. <laughs> Punch him in the face. <laughs> Yeah, I so want to see Captain Underpants versus the Tick. <laughs> the, the, the Tick's getting his own Netflix series, if I am correct. Huh. Like, speak, like you're very topical because he's getting revived. Hmm. And they're not changing the costume at all. <laughs> so. <laughs> Do we want to wrap this up? Um, is there anything else we have to talk? Well, there, there's like, yeah, they, oh, uh, like, uh, before they actually turn, you know, uh, Principal into, uh, Captain Underpants, like, uh, their, part of their character development was they were kind of the, the heroes of the school, uh, cheering everyone up with yeah. their pranks, and some of the pranks are, like, uh, less physically plausible than others, but again, it's 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 supposed to be cartoony, so, yeah. you know, suspension of disbelief. And this, the, run the whole movie was really, you know, it's in its own little suspension of disbelief world where yeah. normal physics don't have to apply, and they just were so consistent with that, with their, in, their physically impossible cartoony world that I, you kind of have to give them credit for that. <laughs> and they constantly broke the fourth wall as well. Oh yeah. They because, literally they you know, paused the movie and were like, hey, let, let's talk to you. The comics did that too. Remember? Uh, my mother told me I didn't actually read the books. She said I was too old for the books. So apparently yeah. I didn't read them, but I, I swear I could recall like looking at them, but... Yeah. yeah, no, but, uh, oh, another little Easter egg uh, reference to the books. In in each one of the books, there's this one part somewhere in the middle, usually for a fight scene, where they they have this, this neat little gimmick where they'd have this uh, two pages where it would be like an action thing happening, and they told you to flip it back and forth, like, really fast, and oh, it yeah, looked yeah. like something was happening. They uh, had that in the movie. I remember those. Yeah, they, they, they had uh, that in the movie for the final fight scene, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that, that was a neat little, uh... <laughs> but, uh... I think that's it. Yeah, all that I, we can think of for now, so... It, it's a really dumb, fun... Yeah. Kid-appealed kid superhero movie. Like, that's... That was, full that was, of 90s uh, full nostalgia. Full of 90s. Like the, I, I think because the we haven't ripped off Linkara enough today. I think the tagline was the first blockbuster of this year or something like that. Like they were right off the bat saying, "Hey, you're gonna, we're like we're gonna set the bar really high," <laughs> and they they did and they accomplished yeah. it well. Yeah. To the point where I want a sequel and I want more '90s reboots. Where the hell is my Artemis Fowl movies? I'm actually not familiar with that. <laughs> Artemis Fowl, what? I was explaining this to you before, but whatever. Alright, bye! Yeah, uh, we'll be talking about the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales uh, next. So, pause it so we can take off these glasses.